intra-arterial transplantation of glial progenitors to regenerate brain damage following radiation therapy of brain tumor. Introduction. In the U.S. each year, approximately 100,000 patients develop radiation-induced brain injury from brain tumor radiation therapy. The central nervous system, or CNS, comprises the brain and the spinal cord. The CNS is made up of gray matter and white matter. The gray matter contains most of the neuron cell bodies and the white matter contains myelinated axons. In the CNS, nerve fibers are wrapped by varying number of concentric layers, with the plasma membrane of the oligodendrocytes forming myelin sheaths. The myelin protects the axon and insulates the electrical impulses to allow neurons to transmit impulses quickly and efficiently so we can feel, think, and move the way we normally do. Oligodendrocytes are derived from immature cells called glial-restricted progenitors. When a myelin sheath is damaged, this is called demyelination. Demyelination has been observed following radiation-induced brain injury. Once the myelin is damaged, it may lead to deterioration of the axon and the neuron itself. These changes may lead to problems with feeling, thinking, and moving. If demyelination persists, it could lead to irreversible damage to neurons and loss of neurological function. Transplantation of glial-restricted progenitors has the potential to prevent this. Preclinical study on rodent models. Researchers have been using animals to study the functions of oligodendrocytes. The CNS of rodents and humans is highly similar in biology and anatomy, making rodent brains a great study tool with which to develop new therapies for brain damage, such as radiation-induced brain injury. However, therapy based on cell transplantation is challenging. The key problem is inefficient cell delivery methods. Typically, cells are injected via needles that results in a very small distribution area. The intra-arterial approach allows broader cell distribution, but this may cause other problems. The first problem is that progenitors might not adhere at the targeted site. Instead, they would pass through and become trapped in the wrong places in the body, such as the lungs. A second problem is that an excessive adhesion and an overabundance of progenitors being delivered could cause them to accumulate at a site in blood vessels, which could block blood flow and lead to microembolism and stroke. To address these issues, the cells need to be modified and the injection procedure needs to be monitored with imaging. In Dr. Piotr Walczak's lab at the Johns Hopkins University Institute for Cell Engineering, glial-restricted progenitors are labeled with iron oxide nanoparticles, making cells visible under MRI to keep track of where the labeled cells are and what they do. In addition, an adhesion molecule, VLA4, is used to make the progenitors adherent to areas of the damaged brain. An intra-arterial microcatheter is introduced into the internal carotid artery and contrast-enhanced MRI is used to, to optimize the area of cell distribution. The contrast makes the distribution area visible under MRI. The size of the cell distribution area is matched to the size of the damaged area by adjusting the infusion speed. We have determined the best injection condition. The engineered glial restricted progenitors are then loaded into the syringe, connected to the microcatheter, and infused to achieve the best engraftment result. The engineered glial restricted progenitors then go through the blood vessel wall via opened tight junctions and integrate with neural tissue, forming new myelin-producing oligodendrocytes. Clinical potential. When using radiation therapy to destroy a targeted brain tumor, the brain tissue surrounding the tumor can also be damaged by radiation. The transplantation of engineered glial progenitors is an attractive solution for repairing radiation-induced brain injury. The microcatheter is able to target a brain area via a specific artery network that supplies the area with the radiation-induced brain injury. With MRI guidance, the engineered glial progenitors can be injected to the ideal site. These progenitors will adhere, go through the blood vessel wall to the damaged site, 
and grow into oligodendrocytes, forming new myelin. This may regenerate the damaged brain tissue and improve the neurological condition and quality of life for brain tumor patients following radiation.